गुड आफ्टरनून ओके सो वी स्टार्ट विथ द लेक्चर वी आर एट इनवर्स लैपलस ट्रांसफॉर्म राइट and yes. we have seen the definition of inverse laplace transform laplace inverse of f of s is f of t and the main function here is to convert the domain s back to t right so here we have seen some formula shall write it first laplace inverse 1 by s is 1 laplace inverse 1 by s square is t, t. then okay and ignore the number now laplace inverse of 1 upon s minus a is e raised to it correct laplace inverse 1 upon uh, can you see this whatever i am writing yes ma'am yes ma'am okay. yes, ma good next is laplace inverse 1 upon s squared plus a square it is 1 upon a minus a sin t very good next is laplace inverse s upon s squared plus a square it is cos a t cos a t Right, then Laplace inverse one upon s square minus a square is one upon a sine hyperbolic. Correct. Laplace inverse s upon s square minus a square it is cos, cos hyperbolic. hyperbolic. Very good. Cos hyperbolic t. And the last formula in this we have seen Laplace inverse one upon s raised to n that is. T raised to n minus one upon e n minus one factorial. Correct. This is if n is Positive integer. positive integer very good and in general it is t raised to n minus 1 upon gamma n gamma n this is in general so these many are the important formula in inverse laplace so we have seen the methods of finding inverse laplace transforms in that we have seen the first method by what standard uh -huh, standard results where we can use the linearity linearity of it uh, right linearity property we can separate and we can just use the result or the standard formula and we can solve the second method in this inverse laplace transform is using first shift first shift correct so we have seen some examples on that first shift property so what is that property let me just repeat it for you if laplace inverse of f of s is f of t then laplace inverse of f of s minus a is what e raised to at into laplace inverse of correct e raised to at this a will come out as e raised to at and its role will get over and it is into laplace inverse f of s and laplace inverse of f of s plus a Is e raised to minus at into Laplace inverse of f of s. Yes, we have seen the questions also. So, oh, one two more questions we'll see in this criteria, and we'll go ahead. So, you can just write the question. Find Laplace inverse of six s minus four upon s square minus four s plus twenty. Okay, now if you can see the question. Can you just see? Is there any standard formula working now? No, standard are eight, and it is not in any of those standard. So we have to convert it into standard so that we can solve. So you will see the denominator. Is it possible to make it a perfect square? So how do you check this? Yes, ma'am. Right. So here you will check the square. It is s square. So you write s square of s. So yes. There is negative sign in between, so I'll write minus, and then you'll write by two to this number exactly half of that. What is the half? Half two. Two. Four to half is two, right? And then you'll check this square. What is that square? S square minus two s plus four. Two. Minus two ab. Two into two four. Four s plus two square four. This is the square. So if it is there in the denominator, you can make it a perfect square, right? So s square minus four s plus four I'll write because we need it. Yes, we have written plus four, so we'll write minus four also. And then whatever is there, twenty as it is. Because we need it, we have added as we have added 
so meaning should not change so we have to we have to subtract also and then 20 so we'll write that 20 as it is okay so it is denominator is there any doubt in this why we are writing four there no good so to make it a perfect square we write four and the numerator is as it is 6s minus 4 okay so then it is equal to laplace inverse of numerator as it is 6s minus 4 upon hmm, from this 3 it is yes, minus s two. minus 2 square very good so s minus 2 square and 20 plus minus 4, four plus, six plus 16 yes 16 you can write 4 square also if you want now as there is s minus 2 so first ship says wherever is s there should be same s minus a or s plus a so it is a so that s should also be s minus 2 so what you will do here is because here it is in denominator s minus 2 so we'll write wherever is s s minus 2 so here is s so that s is s minus 2 6 as it is but while doing this it becomes 6 s minus 12 minus 12 is there so i'll write plus 12 that effect of 12 remove and we need originally minus 4 so minus 4 as it is is this clear to everyone why s minus 2 wherever is yes we need it so yes it is yes there so i'll write s minus 2 because we need it for first shift and then 6 as it is and if you solve this it becomes minus 12 6s minus 12 so i'll change the effect by plus 12 so it will be 0 and then i'll need minus 4 so it is as it is as it is sorry. now if you can see wherever is s there is s minus 2 so can we now apply first shift Yes. Yes. Right. So what will come out? E raised to two. E raised to two t. Two t. Very good. E raised to two t into Laplace inverse of this is six s. Twelve minus four. Eight upon this two is also out. So it is s square plus sixteen is four. Right. So now can we apply linearity? This upon this. This upon this. Yes. Right. So it is e raised to 2t into Laplace inverse of what is the first term? Can you just check? 6s plus 8 upon s square. Right. 6s. So 6 comes out. Laplace inverse s upon s square plus 4 square plus Laplace inverse. Second term is 8 upon. So 8 also comes out, right? As constant. 8. 1 upon s square plus 4 square. So it is e raised to 2t. 6 into what is that? 14. Cos 14. Cos 4t. A is 4, right. Plus 8 into 1 upon 4. Into right. 1 upon, so it is 1 upon a, 1 upon 4 into sine 4t. So here it is 2. So, yes, your answer is e raised to 2t, 6 cos 4t plus 2 sin 4t. Is there any doubt? It is done. You can ask. You are just converting it into the first shift so that we can solve by using first shift, right? If you can write it a perfect square, it will go into the first shift. Is there any doubt? You want to ask? Or should no. I go to the next question? Sure. So we'll go to the next one. Try this. Laplace inverse of s plus 1 upon s square plus 2s plus 1. What you can do? Once again, square, but there is not just a square, there is two years also. So we'll check whether it is a perfect square. So for that, what you'll do is, this is s square plus sign is there and half of that two is one. one. So you check this now. It is s square plus two ab, two s plus one. one. Right, so it becomes s plus one upon, this is nothing but, 
s plus one square. Correct? This pure term is there, right? So if add subtract, karay chhu, tumhale kahi garaz nahi. Ki jo term is there, toh tumta square is there. So yes, we got it. Ata idhar a s plus one will get cancelled. Square is there, kahi. The plus inverse it is one upon s plus one. So what is your answer? E raised to minus one. E raised to minus one t. E raised to minus t. Correct? Eh? Yes, ma'am. Or if you want, uh, or by using first shift. So here it is la plus inverse s plus one upon s plus one square. So wherever we see s is s plus one, so we can uh, apply first shift, and that one will come out as e raised to Minus minus t one t right into Laplace inverse of that one goes out yes, upon s, s. Right, yes. s upon s square that is one upon s right so what is Laplace inverse one upon s one one, one. so your answer <laughs> is also in this case e raised to minus t you can you can either go by first shift or Okay, so we'll go to the next now. Next question. Let's try this. Find Laplace inverse of 3s plus 7 upon s square minus 2s minus 3. What do you will do now? You see this. Can we make it a perfect square? If yes, you can tell me now. S minus one bracket square. S minus one. Very good. This is S and half of that is one and minus sign as it is. So it is S square minus two AB minus two S plus one. So we need that plus one. So S square minus two S plus one we need. So we write plus one. And as we write plus one, we should write minus one also. And yes, it is now s square minus 2s, and originally there is minus 3 as it is. And numerator is as it is, then 3s plus 7. So from the first three terms in the denominator, it is nothing but what? s square minus 2s plus 1. It is s minus 1 bracket square. Minus 3 minus 1. Is minus four. four, right? Now, because we got here s minus one square, so wherever is s, we need s minus one. So it is s in numerator there. So there also we need s minus one. So write it down s minus one. After we write it, we get here three s minus three, but there is already seven. So minus three plus three plus three, very good. And then the effect gone of that three, it is just three years and there is plus seven. So add it, plus seven. Is this clear to everyone? Yes. Good. So S minus one, wherever you see there is S minus one now. So it is first shift. So what will come out? E raised to minus two. Plus or minus? Plus. 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 If, it is, if it is minus, plus comes out. E raised to 1t, Laplace inverse of this one and this one goes. So 3s plus 10 upon s square, s square minus 4, that is 2 square. Very good. Now we can separate it, E raised to t. Here, s upon, so 3 comes out, Laplace inverse, s upon s square minus 2 square. And plus 10 comes out, Laplace inverse, 1 upon s square minus 2 square. What is this property to separate? Linearity. Right, linearity, correct. So e raised to t, 3 into, what is that? Cos hyperbolic. Very good, very good. This is cos as it is negative in between denominators, so that is hyperbolic. Cos hyperbolic. 2 plus 10 into. One upon, two sine two. Very. one upon two into sine 
hyperbolic as negative 2p. So here you can just write 5 and thus this is your answer. Done. So is this clear to everyone how to apply for shift in Laplace inverse? Yes. 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 So can I give you some homework? You just try them. You saw them. Write the homework. Obviously, it is find Laplace inverse of 2s plus 3 upon s squared plus 2s plus 2. Second, Laplace inverse 1 upon s minus 3 cube. Next, Laplace inverse 4s plus 12 upon s squared plus 8s. Plus 60. Uh, you know, try them. Can you solve all of them? Is there any doubt in any one of the question? Just check. All of them are solvable or not. You can ask me if not. I think you can solve. So chal, we'll go to the next method, method number. 3 of inverse Laplace transform. Method 3. The method is using partial fractions. Do you know partial fraction? Yes. We have seen this also, I guess, in uh, LD. Yes. Right. Somewhere we have seen partial fractions. So do you remember partial fractions? If there are linear terms like S plus A, S plus B. So how can you separate? This is linear, manje power of S is 1. Both are linear terms. So if these are linear terms, in the numerator, there will be only constants A upon S plus A plus B upon S plus B. You just cross multiply this and you solve and you'll get A and B substitute back. In this case, denominators get separated and there is addition or subtraction in between. So there will be some terms like they are combined. So combined, we cannot use linearity. We know that. So we have to separate them and you can also separate by using partial fractions. So this is how the method is. Okay, if there is something like S square plus A and S plus B. So one is linear and one is quadratic. How do you write it? For the quadratic? Vertical lita. Linear center constant lita. Quadratic center linear term lita S madli. So it is A S plus B upon S square plus A. A B used. This is linear, so only constant you see upon S plus B. These are some rules. Okay, if there are both the quadratic terms, then how can you write it? This is quadratic, this is also quadratic. So for this quadratic, vertical enough. What will be in the numerator for this? You know now. S square as in the Kalita to me linear term yeah. AS plus B upon S, whatever is this. If it is S square, you will write like this. Plus, keep on quadratic ahem and put a puna constant check quadratic term CS plus D upon S square plus B square. Okay. Next, if it is one upon S. Square into s plus one. A kara in general kara. Okay, this is linear, but this is quadratic. Quadratic, but only s. In this case, you can write a s plus b upon s square also, or you can write a upon s as it is square plus b upon s square plus this is also linear, so c upon s plus a. Please remember. Or you can also write it is as plus b upon a square directly. Quadratic ahe. So you can write this or this. Both are okay. 
So these are some rules you should remember. So are they clear to you? Can I go to the question then directly? Yes. We just cross multiply, we solve, we find A, B, we put it there. If we put the two terms or whatever the terms, two, three, they get separated like this and we can apply Laplace inverse. So write the question. Find Laplace inverse of S plus 29 upon S plus 4, S squared plus 9. Okay, if you can see the question, you see the denominator first. If it is S plus 4 or if it is S squared plus 9 in the denominator, but if they are separate, you can apply Laplace inverse. There is formula. Isn't there? If it is 1 upon S plus 4 and 1 upon S squared plus 9, is the formula for both yeah. of them? Right, there is the formula. But they are not separate. They are multiplied. So we cannot separate by linearity. Means we should first separate them by partial fraction. So by partial fraction. Asha kahi terms astil ki jatumi partial fraction. Jatumi separate karu shakta by partial fraction. Take them separate and then apply Laplace inverse. So consider this whole term. Whatever is the numerator, you just focus on the denominator. This is linear. So what should I write up? A. A, A upon. Very good. A upon S plus 4. Plus, this is quadratic. So what should we write? A, A, is, A is used. So do not use it again. Next function. Yeah. B plus S plus C. Very good. Upon S square plus 9. Now we have to solve this. So to solve, just cross multiply this into this. A into S square plus 9. Plus this into this B S plus C into S plus 4. Upon S plus 4, they do go multiply hotel and multiply any equipment denominator multiply. So denominator on both sides get cancelled. It is equal to S plus 29, the numerator. Okay. Yes. Right. So next you just solve this. This uh, you can solve by substituting some values of S. If you put S is minus 4, you will get one value. You can substitute values or you can just open this, compare and solve. So what do we need? Compare. Then, compare. Okay, chala. S plus 29 is, now open this. A S square plus 9A. Then B S into S plus B S square plus 4 B S plus cs plus 4c. Have I written it correctly? Just check. Yes. Right. So we collect the equal coefficients a, b, a plus b, s square. Then collect s, 4bs plus cs plus 4b 4 plus c into s, right, plus constants that are without S, 9A plus 4C. 4C, 9A plus 4C is equal to S plus 29. So there is equal sign means uh, equal coefficients will get compared. When you create S square, 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 zero. Zero S square, very good. So yes, you can now compare coefficient S square, S square, you create zero, you create A plus B. So A plus B is equal to zero. Then you create S coefficient 1A and you create S coefficient 4B plus C is equal to 1. And you constant you create 9A plus 4C and you create 29. Right. So these three equations we get, we can solve them. Okay, so you just from first equation, you'll get A is equal to minus B. You put A is minus B in third equation. Then you get two equations in B and C you can solve. And then three, just a minute. Now, but this we can also solve on calculator. If there are three unknowns, A, B, C, we will up to two or three, we can solve on calculator. 
So this is like a plus b plus zero c is zero. If I write this equation, this is zero a plus four b plus c is equal to one. This is nine a plus zero b plus four c is equal to twenty. So uh, let us take your calculator. Do you have? Yes. Okay. On it, go to more, go to equation, go to more, press three times. You will get equation there. Then you will see unknowns. How many unknowns are there? A, B, and C three. So press three. Then you will ask you A one. What is A one? Coefficient of A. Right. One. Like one. Press one and equal. What is B one? One. One. Press equal. What is C one? Zero. Zero. Right. Press equal. D one. This is D one. This is D one. A, B, C, D. D one is zero. Press equal. A two. Zero. Zero. Good. B two. Four. 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 Equal. Equal. Kala chala. C two. One. One. B two. One. One. A three. Nine. Nine. B B three. Zero. C three. Four. Four. B three. Twenty. Twenty nine. Ani equal taka. You got some values. So One. they will show you x, y, and z. So x is the first means our a, yeah. right? So a is here. We get it. A is one, right? Equal b is press minus. equal. Minus. Very minus good. Minus one. And again, press equal. You will get c. Five. 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 This is the easier way to solve, right? If you can solve on calculator, you can do that. But if you don't want तुम्हें मैन्युअली ही करू शकता कस कर मैन्युअली ए इज इक्वल टू मैनस बी मना ठीक है सो ए इज इक्वल टू मैनस बी बी एम ठेवा दोन इक्वेशन बी एन सी मधले मिलता सी इलिमिनेट कि बी इलिमिनेट करा सी मधे सी ची वैल्यू मिले ती या ठेवा कुछ तरी बी मिले बी मिला ए मिले दैट इज बाय मैन्युअल But if you can solve on calculator, why would you go by manual, right? So we got the values, and then you can put them in your equation number one. Call this as equation number one. Okay. So equation one becomes s plus twenty nine upon s plus four s square plus nine is equal to a upon so a is one. One upon s plus four plus b s plus c minus one s plus five upon s square plus nine. Okay, so now the question is take Laplace inverse of that. So taking Laplace inverse on both sides. So Laplace inverse of one upon s plus four. Plus, can I separate the Laplace inverse with addition? Yes. Right. Yes. So Laplace inverse of this is minus s plus five upon s square plus nine. Right. So first thing I write as it is s plus four. Now once again you can apply linearity here. Minus comes out. Laplace inverse s upon s square plus three square. Yes. Right plus here five comes out into Laplace inverse of one upon s square plus nine. Nine is three square. Okay, so now we can find the answer. What is this? E raised to minus forty. Perfect. E raised to minus forty minus s upon cos plus cos three t. Very good. Plus five one upon. One upon three into sine three t done. This is your answer. So you can write five by three. Five into one by three. Five by three done. So do you get it now? Yes. You can easily separate by using partial fraction and solve. Then it will convert into any of one the uh, standard formula, and you can easily solve it. Chal, next question. 
Is this clear? Do you have any doubt? You can ask now. If you have anything to ask, please go ahead and ask. We'll go to next question. Very good. Find Laplace inverse of one one upon s square into s plus two. If they are separate, we can solve but they are multiplying, so we cannot right now, so we have to separate them. So we'll consider the given term. And how can we write in partial fraction? Hmm? A upon S. Right, A upon S. Plus B upon S square. Correct, plus C upon S plus two. Or you can also write A S plus B upon S square directly if you want. Similar as Ahika Bhagavad, A S cancel will equal to separate A upon S. And it happened B upon S square as I separate Kelata. You will get the same. So it is up to you. Both are same. Chal. So then cross multiply. A S plus B karu easy water A S plus B ke lata. Yes, ma'am. A S plus B upon S square plus C upon S plus 2. Ka easy water karan cross multiply easily karu shakti. Okay, so it is A S plus B into S plus 2 cross multiply plus C into S square is equal to what? 1. 1. Is equal to the numerator one. Now open it means multiply inside as into s a s square a s into two two a s plus b into s b s two into b two b plus c s square is equal to one. So collect s square together. Here it is and one more here. So a plus c s square plus s to a plus b yes. s right plus constant to b adi s square to coefficient number s j and in another constant hey collect kara when you create yes na yam and kiti yes i have zero zero yes i have any s square pen zero s square hai. so now you can compare a plus c is zero zero good to a plus b is Zero. 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 And one more equation. 2b is equal to? One. One. Okay. You can take it in calculator. If I'm easy as well, the manually can hold it. B is half. It is half. B is half. A is half. A is half. A is half. C is half. It is easier. Manually. B is here. One half. Directly. B is one half. So 2a plus one half is zero. So 2a is minus 1 half. So 2 ni divide will be great. So a is minus 1 by 4. We already we have 1 half. And a and b are here. C mail ka. Ha equation or no mail. A plus c is 0. That is c is minus a. We have C is minus A. So C is minus of this. So it is 1 by 4. Do you understand? If you go manually, right? But if you don't want to go, consider these three equations as A plus 0, B plus C equal to 0. A plus 0, B plus C is equal to 0. What is next? 2a plus b, 2a plus b plus 0c is equal to 0. 
2b is equal to 1 as another. So 0a plus 2b plus 0c is equal to 1. Gya hai calcium at a1, b1 change karable. At the tumjaka calcium at the ahi to be did it plus a kid at the kid as a change kid at the result. 1, 0, 1, 0, 2, 1, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 1, equal. What do you get? Check. So x is minus of 25 means a is minus of 0 0.25. Minus 1 by 4. Right. So here manjus are minus 1 by 4. Equal kara 0 0.5. Is equal to 1 by 2. Uh, so 0 0.5 is equal to 1 by 4. Very good. And z manjus c equal to 0 0.25. Manjus puna it the 1 by 4. 1 by 4. Right. So yes, you can do like this also. Yes, we have A, B, C. So we'll call it as equation number one first. Call this, we have considered this. So one becomes. One upon S squared into S plus two is A, S plus B. A, ki Minus one by four. Minus, Minus one, one by four. four. Minus one by four S. Plus B, B kala? 1 what? by 2. 1 by 2. A S plus B upon S square plus C ki kala? 1 by 4. 1 by 4. Yeah, up, upon S plus 2. Correct. So we need lap plus inverse on this. So take it on both sides. So lap plus inverse of plus separate it. Lap plus inverse of Yes, now we can separate by linearity. So minus one by four will come out as into Laplace inverse of S upon S square. That is what? Four, one upon S. Correct. So half next come out and Laplace inverse of? One upon S. One upon S square. Correct. Here also one by four comes out. Laplace inverse of one upon? Square. Yes. Sir. Right. Very good. So now we know all of them. So Laplace inverse one by S is? Two, one. 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 Correct. Plus 1 by 2 into this is? T. T. Right. Plus 1 by 4 into this is? E raised to 2. Done. This is your answer. So if you know partial fraction, you can easily solve it. But, oh, sorry. As we have online, such big questions are not there. We are so lucky, right? We do not have to solve such questions. So they can give you the steps directly, ABCs directly, but generally they will not ask you partial fraction because this is the previous knowledge. And yes, we are lucky. Otherwise, in your theoretical papers, you will have to solve this for four or six marks. So can I give you homeworks on that or should I take uh, one more question? What do you say? Homework. Homework. You want me to take anyone more? I'll take it. Chal, write homeworks there. Okay, we'll solve one more. Chal, we'll solve one more and then I'll give you homework. Find Laplace inverse of square plus 10 s plus 13 upon s minus 1 s square minus 5 s plus 6 ah, yes huh? this is s Shall I, can we solve this we we'll solve it together consider s square plus 10 s plus 13 upon Is equal to how will you write it? A minus one. A upon correct plus B S plus C as it is square B S plus C right by U S right call it as one. So it is A into this K 
can I now directly write a s square minus five a s plus six a plus this into this I'll directly write now b s square minus b s plus c s minus c. Ah, बरो बरे का बगा. Check करा बरो बर ले लेगा. B s into this b s square minus b s c s minus c yes. Collect the coefficient a plus b s square plus s collect करा minus five a minus b plus c s plus constants six a minus c is a square plus ten s plus thirty. So comparing we get a plus b plus zero c is equal to one. ठीक है a plus b is one. जितने सी न होता तो जीरो सी लेने तक लाइए. जब तुम्हें नेक्स्ट स्टेप ना करना रहे. Minus five a minus b plus c is equal to ten. Ten. And six a minus c is equal to thirty. मंजे जीरो b. चलो take it your calculator and solve. कितने साहेब पुनाए था. चलो इस a वाला replace करा one. वन इक्वल करा जीरो इक्वल करा चला वन देन माइनस फाइव माइनस वन वन टेन सिक्स जीरो माइनस वन थर्टी इक्वल सो यू नाउ वी गेट द आंसर टेक योर टाइम एक वर्ड कर एक वर्ड माइंस इन एवं a is twelve, b is minus eleven, and c is fifty nine. Fifty nine, right? Yes. Correct. All getting? Yes. If there are anyone who doesn't get it, please ask. Okay. If you are getting, put it in equation number one. So one becomes. You write it properly. Now I'll write it here only. So a is twelve. We get so one becomes twelve. B is minus eleven, and C is fifty nine. Minus eleven and fifty. So this is what we get. Now we have to take the Laplace inverse of that. So we take it Laplace inverse of s square plus ten s plus thirteen upon s minus one s square minus five s plus six is equal to. Like that, le. Twelve upon upon s minus one. Right. Laplace inverse one upon s minus one. Next is. I'll write it as it is minus eleven s plus fifty nine upon what is that? S square minus five plus six. Right. But now the problem is with this. This is not again standard. So how will you make it standard? From the first two terms, it is square of. You can check five is half is five by two. S minus five by two square. It is s square minus two two to cancel five s plus s square twenty five by four. Right. So you will have to add and subtract it. Twelve into Laplace inverse one upon s minus one plus Laplace inverse. This okay. I'll write it later. S square minus five u s plus twenty five by four minus twenty five by four plus six. As it is, so it is twelve into what is that? P raised to t t right plus la plus inverse. This denominator is s minus five by two square. And how much is this? Can you just check? Minus one by four. Okay, good. Twenty-four. 
minus 25 plus 24 minus 1 by 4 very good so as it is s minus 5 by 2 in numerator also you will need it s minus 5 by 2 so we have written so it is now plus 55 by 2 am i right minus minus the term added here is 11 into 5 55 by 2 added so you should subtract minus 55 by 2 and the 59 as it is plus 59 is there any doubt no good that is 12 e raised to t plus now wherever is s there is s minus 5 by 2 so it will come out as e raised to 5 by 2 t into laplace inverse here it is minus 11 s how much is this term 63 upon 3 by 2 63 by 2 2 yes yes a 5 by 2 bahar gelala so it is s square minus ka kasha cha square hai 1 by 2 square right now we can separate this and write the answer so i'll write answer here now so it is 12 e raised to t plus e raised to 5 by 2 t into right so if we separate minus 11 will come out here at the bracket madhe ahe purcha sagra so So here minus 11 and s upon this what is this laplace inverse cos hyperbolic of one half. good cos hyperbolic of 1 by 2 t plus here 63 by 2 will come out as constant and laplace inverse of 1 upon this is 2 into sine of 1 by 2 1 upon a a is here 1 by 2 so it is 1 upon 1 by 2 into sine hyperbolic 1 by 2 t 1 by 2 t 2 to cancel final answer will be like 12 e raised to t plus e raised to 5 by 2 t minus 11 cos hyperbolic t by 2 plus 63 sine hyperbolic you know? sine hyperbolic t by 2 will be the answer But he to mana puda yoni play for shift karava lagla. He to mana ignore karata a cell, but to be pilot check karaki yachek factors per tilka. Bagavara factors per tata six in minus five. Minus three minus two. Yes, ma'am. Fix the minus five mate, minus three minus two as a multiplication six will and addition minus five. Manja he to mana litail s minus three into s minus 2 the same thing can be written as anima teen linear term a upon b upon c upon asha separate could be come coming for you okay you can go like that also yes that write the homeworks Find Laplace inverse of four s plus five upon s minus one square into s plus two. One more. S square plus 1 upon S cube plus 3 S square plus 2 S. Okay, how will you write this in partial fraction? You can either write A S plus B or A upon S minus 1 plus B upon S minus 1 square. A S plus B all upon S minus 1 square. It's up to you. It is AS plus B and CS plus D. My calcium is all right. Degree D8. 
म्हणजे अननोन स्टार झाले आणि त्यांचे वर अननोन फक्त तीन पर्यंतच आहेत चार अननोन सॉल्व्ह होत नाहीत सो यू हॅव टू सॉल्व्ह मॅनुअली यू कॅन चेक दिस एस इज कॉमन यू कॅन टेक एस कॉमन अँड एस स्क्वेअर प्लस थ्री एस प्लस टू त्याचेही फॅक्टर्स पडतील म्हणजे हे असं होईल का ला प्लस इनवर्स एस स्क्वेअर प्लस वन एस इन टू एस स्क्वेअर प्लस थ्री एस प्लस टू टू इन थ्री कसा जातो भाग टू इन थ्री दोन नंबर्स ज्याचं मल्टिप्लिकेशन टू आहे आणि ऍडिशन थ्री आहे टू वन टू वन म्हणजे हा होईल एस प्लस टू आणि एस प्लस वन सेम यू कॅन राईट लाईक दिस अँड यू कॅन अप्लाय नाव पार्शियल फॅक्शन अँड सॉ देर आर सो मेनी क्वेश्चन यू कॅन जस्ट चेंज युअर नंबर अँड क्वेश्चन विल चेंज आय थिंक दिस आर इनफ जस्ट रिमेंबर वॉट इज पार्शियल फॅक्शन less chances for mcq type okay chat next method मेथड नंबर सो राइट इन दैट द स्टेटमेंट इफ एफ वन टी एंड एफ टू टी are the two functions are two functions such that laplace inverse of f1s is f1t and laplace inverse of f2s is f2t then laplace inverse of f1s into f2s it is if they are together multiplied and we know it separately laplace inverse of first and laplace inverse of second if they multiply together the formula is integration from 0 to t f1u in this any of this call you can call f1 and other as f2 in one of the function it will be replaced t by u into f2 of t minus u ani dusra madhe t la t minus u karnar ani he integration with respect to u karnar this is the formula of convolution theorem very important statement the laplace inverse if they multiply together so we already have to find this and this separately f1 t f2 t are with us now integration f1 madhe ata f1 kunala manaycha f2 kunala manaycha doga paiki he tumcha var ahe so eka madhe t la u manaycha dusra madhe t la t minus u manaycha te doga multiply karun integration ghyaycha from 0 to t with respect to the variable u okay so this is what the formula of convolution theorem is please write it carefully so that we can now go to the question Done? Should I go to question? Yes. Okay. So write down. Ata jeva convolution ahe teva particularly they will say find the inverse Laplace transform of following function by 
convolution theorem. Okay, the question is one upon s to s square minus a square. By convolution, the matla the take a don functions as narrate a f one s and a f two s to do go multiply zanele ahe. Adam of functions as she orka, it applied as a formula my dear eight formula. Tiki Matatumala ekrek f one s karata and a dusrae function ahe f two s manate and a three doga functions it a multiply zanele asa. So if you can see one by s and one by this two are multiplied together, and the Doganji formula applala might be correct. Yes. So let Atahimanaji Garazeka F1S Mana F1S is one by s and F2S is one upon s square minus a square. That is F1S into F2S. Next, you have to find Laplace inverse of F1s. That is Laplace inverse of 1 by s. What is that? 1. Right. One. Solve this separately. Find out the answers. And Laplace inverse of F2s. That is Laplace inverse of 1 upon s square minus a square. What is that? 1 upon a sine hyperbole. 80. One upon a into sine hyperbolic a t. Correct. So, hazo alai and hazo alai tapaki kunalai ekala f one mana and itusrala f two mana. Zaritumikra f one f two matla the yala kunala f one f two mana is a tum chakrahe. At the f one jala manal, it a tila u karata and f two jala manal, it a tila t minus u karata. Okay, at the either T nights at the Tila T minus U to a use a question name. But to me, Allah Manje F one ha simpler ahe karela that the integration of the Tila T Tila U manage a Udas Paraja. So to me, Yala F one, Yala F two matla three salad. Chala T F one mana, Ekala F two mana. Thomas that process as a lay. A K F one, A F two S, the Dogan Sala plus inverse, a cala F one mana, Karnata J L the function of T S L. So one is F one T, other is F two T. Just a minute. Okay, we'll complete this. Now we have F one T, F two T, and then by convolution theorem, we have Laplace inverse of F one S into F two S. It is see the statement integration from zero to T F one U into F two T minus U D. Right? Mata F one ahe aplakre. So, F1 is the same as the T. So, U is So, the T is the F1 U is 1 itself. So, it is integration. And the only value the values to A. So, Laplace inverse F1 S. Manje 1 upon S. Into F2 S. F2 S is 1 upon S square minus A square. Is equal to integration 0 to T. F1 U is the same one one ally. one into f2 t minus u ka ye jithe t ahe na tikre t minus u kara fakta f2 madhe t cha tikani aplala t minus u kara sa integration madhe that is one upon a into sine hyperbolic a into t minus u t u correct Lila? yes right so now you have to take the integration with respect to u, right? So here one by a is constant outside and integration of sine hyperbolic. What is the integration of sine hyperbolic? Cos, Cos hyperbolic, right? Derivative and integration hyperbolic la negative signs now yet. So it is cos hyperbolic a into t minus u 
upon derivative of this term with respect to u. What will be the derivative? This is a t minus a u. Then hyperbolic a t minus a u. The derivative of this a t minus a u with respect to u t constant zero that is minus, minus a. Minus. Right. And this is from zero to t. So minus a also will come out minus one by a square. Yeah, substituting limits over with respect to u it is. So you are substituting over u cos hyperbolic a t minus u is upper limit t minus lower limit u la zero theva cos hyperbolic a t minus zero. It is minus one upon a square t minus t that is zero cos hyperbolic zero. What is the value? Minus cos a t. No, no, no. This is zero. T minus t zero. 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 Cos hyperbolic zero is one. Please remember. Cos h zero is one and cos zero is also one. Okay, so this is one minus this zero uh, cos hyperbolic a t it is. So done. That can be answer. Or if you multiply by that minus inside, it is cos hyperbolic a t. Minus one upon a square will be your answer by convolution theorem. You have a test now, otherwise, what's a plan? Hota ki continue karai sir. Test to the Japan sir and you can have it. Okay, so we should stop now, I guess. Test ahead. Please wait, let me take attendance. Do not leave, please wait. Okay, we'll continue with convolution theorem in next lecture. So we'll stop now. Thank you. Bye-bye.